Hey tailors, there are several ways of lining trouser fronts, but today I'm gonna share with you the one I think is the most fail safe. Also, this video is a part of my full online bespoke trouser making course, so if you're interested in it, just email me, I'll leave my contact in the description below. Subscribe to my Instagram, I post some tailoring tips there as well. So let's have some fun with tailoring. So let's start with a quick pre-shrinking of the lining. The next step is to decide what to do with the edge of the lining. There are several options here, so the most popular one is to use a salvage of the lining. I've seen people surging this edge or even double folding and stitching it with a machine. This is the bad idea because uh, this way the fold will leave an ugly looking imprint on your trouser front after pressing. Also, as you can see, I don't have enough lining to use the salvage, so I'm gonna use a small trick to solve this problem. Let me remind you to check that wrong sides of trouser front and lining are facing each other. When I place the trouser front onto a lining, I usually leave one or one and a half centimeters at the top just in case. And here I have to decide the length of the lining. It has to be at least 12 or 15 centimeters below the knee line. Sometimes I just put my palm and mark it this way. Next, I'm roughly shaping the lining, leaving approximately 2 cm each side. Now I'm marking a pleat position. It has to be 6-7 cm below the crotch line, or I just put three fingers and mark it like that. The pleat is roughly 1 cm wide. Then I'm making sure that the edge of the lining is smooth and straight. As you remember, I couldn't use the selvage of my lining because I didn't have enough length. So I'm using this technique to prevent this edge from falling apart in future and at the same time I'm keeping this edge thin so the lining won't leave any imprints on the trouser front. Ok, here is my 1cm seam allowance for the waistband, so I'm starting to baste below this mark. While basting, I'm gently straightening the wool cloth with my fingers and I connect it to the lining along the crease line. Here starts an important part of the process. I'm going to show you a little trick. So the idea is to give a little bit of ease to the lining while basting. 
Let's see how I do it. It's pretty simple. I'm just pushing lining a little towards the top of the trousers while I'm holding the upper cloth in place with my thumb. Okay, now I'm gonna mark my uh, pocket position by connecting these two notches. And from this point, I'm gonna be adding ease to the lining as I was doing it at the other side. The process is the same and from this angle you can see that I am adding a very small amount of ease, just a touch. Let's take a look at what we got. Here you can spot a little puckering. So adding a little bit of ease to the inseam and side seam will prevent the lining from pulling up the trouser cloth and shrinking these seams. So basically we just gave these areas a touch of flexibility. Now I'm just trimming the excess of lining. And lastly, I'm cutting out the excess of lining under the pocket to avoid unnecessary thickness. And now I am pointing which seams you have to overlock, so you are cutting the excess of lining and at the same time you are connecting everything together with an overlocker seam. Like this video if it was helpful, leave your questions in the comment section below and subscribe for more bespoke tailoring. See ya!